Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. From today's session, I will start a software engineering subject. In this series, I will give you a complete point-wise easy and quick explanation about each and every points included in software engineering subject. In today's session, we will discuss about the first point that is introduction to software engineering. So let's start the session. In this channel, you got a complete point-wise easy explanation, practical demo and question bank of following subjects. Here, I'm also giving you some exam interview preparation tips plus pro project presentation and some free certification ideas. Please like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe the channel. So you will get a notification regarding my new upcoming videos. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about introduction of software engineering, their need, then characteristics of good software, nature of software, software process and STLC models. Next. Now, first there is a reference book. I am suggesting you for software engineering subject purpose, you can refer this first book that is Roger Pressman Software Engineering a Practitioner Approach book. The second book is Software Engineering by Addison Wesley. But I am suggesting you, you should refer this first book because everything mentioned in this book in simple language or as per your syllabus points. Next. Now, the first point is what exactly software engineering? Basically, software engineering. These words are combined from software and engineering. What exactly software? We know that software is a collection of integrated programs. Means, Developer develop a particular software by using a particular computer programming language, right? As per the customer need. The second thing is engineering. Engineering means here we apply different scientific and practical knowledge or we will learn about invention, design, build, maintenance and improve framework and process. This is the engineering field, right? So by combining software and engineering, software engineering will be developed. What exactly software engineering? So software engineering is a engineering branch. Here we develop evaluation of software product by using a, some scientific principles, techniques and procedures. This is called as software engineering. The result of software engineering is to develop effective and reliable software product. In our daily life, we use different types of applications like social applications, banking applications, then gaming applications, right? So these are all, all the softwares. So these softwares have developed by the particular developer by using a particular principles, techniques and procedure. So these all things have included in software engineering subject. Clear? Next. Now the next point is need of software engineering. The first need is to handling big project. See, every organization, every institute having their own software, right? Some banking application like SBI, RBI, they have their own software. So basically, software can be used to handle large amount of data and large amount of project. There is a connection between the customers and the institute persons, right? The second thing is to manage cost. If you develop a particular software as per the software engineering principles or as per the customer requirement, so your software is very easy to manage the cost. Means if you develop a software as per the customer need, at that time reduce all those things that are not required, only as per the customer requirements. So that will be beneficial for to manage the cost. Second, to decrease time. Obviously, we use different software like reservation application, train reservation, booking, uh, airline bookings, then a calculator. So these all applications are useful for the human or the users. It saves a lot of time, right? So if you develop a software by using some specific software engineering techniques, it saves a lot of time of the particular users. The next one is reliable software. So reliable software means these softwares have developed by the particular company or particular organization, right? So it's company responsibility to deliver a software product on particular time or particular schedule as discussed by the customer. So this is called as reliable software. The next one is effectiveness. Obviously, 
every software you have developed they have a accuracy then a easy to use that will be usable for every user as per their need so this is called as effectiveness right so these are the need of software engineering that's why we use softwares in our daily life for each and every purpose like in our college purpose or uh, any other browsing purpose there are some browsers there are some gaming applications then a uh, shopping applications like flipkart amazon then a uh, social applications whatsapp facebook instagram right so each and everywhere we use applications we use softwares right so this is a need of software engineering next now the next thing is characteristics of good software see these characteristics are divided into the three parts operational transitional and maintenance these are the three main characteristics of good software let's take the example of whatsapp so operational is budget whatsapp is budget friendly for every user right there is a efficiency they work efficiently there each and every applications like chatting video calling then a status each and every application work efficiently then usability means each and every user use this application whether it is literate person or non literate person next dependability whatsapp use contact application means they depend on any other application or user also depend on that particular software next correctness functionality there are different functionalities the main thing is safety and security so this all things have included in particular software applications so these are the characteristics of good software as per the operational as per their working areas second thing is transitional transitional include interoperability their operations reusability portability let's take a example of uh, your turbo c software that is programming software so you can install turbo c in different versions of windows like windows 7 windows 8 so this is called as portability then adaptability the second thing is maintenance in maintenance it include flexibility maintainability modularity and scalability means there are different versions have included in particular softwares each time you update those softwares as per their new features right so this all are the characteristics of good softwares means every software engineer every software developer must know these characteristics or as per that characteristics they develop a softwares clear next now next thing is nature of softwares there are different softwares have present so that will be divided into the different natures the first is system softwares system software basically means your operating system you can use different operating systems like windows linux then uh, in your mobile there is android operating system right so these all are the system software basically system software is a interaction between hardware and application software means it provide a platform to the application software like see here in your mobile there is android operating system that is system software and on that android operating system you install different application like you install whatsapp you install facebook right so these are the application softwares basically system software is provide a platform to all the other application softwares clear next is application softwares application software basically means that will be developed as per the specific task or as per the user need for example there are some shopping applications like flipkart so that will be useful only for shopping as per the customer need next whatsapp whatsapp is just used for connecting and chatting purpose next gaming application next a uh, banking application so this all are applications or softwares have developed as per the user or business need right so this is called as application softwares next the third nature of software is engineering and scientific softwares so basically this software handle all the real time data and it has very high accuracy complex formula evaluation and data analysis so real time data means weather prediction there are some app which show weather prediction related data some stock market analysis like these are the real time application their values are continuously change right then a stress analysis then body measurement app there are a uh, walking applications or fit applications google fit is there right so these all are the engineering scientific softwares 
which handle real time and continuous data clear the next one is embedded software so basically embedded softwares are used to implement and control feature and functions for the end users means this embedded softwares are reside within the software for example switch router we use these components for developing a particular application like uh, this particular things have included in digital camera washing machine then traffic control means where all the hardware related things are included into the embedded softwares clear next the next is web application softwares we all are familiar with this it is a client server computer programs we all use some online forms we use gmail yahoo and there are some online websites which convert your file word to pdf pdf to word then uh, online some photo editing websites is there right so all the online application where you can use some online websites so this is called as web application softwares in this web application softwares there are some set of link or some hypertext file which present all the information by using text and limited graphics okay so this is called as web application softwares the next one is artificial intelligence softwares so basically all the artificial intelligence software used by non numerical algorithms there are different machine learning artificial intelligence deep learning algorithms to solve a complex problems for example there are google cloud then azure studio tensorflow salesforce these are the some applications have available that will be used by the particular organization or particular company to handle large amount of data so generally artificial intelligence softwares applications are included in robotics expert system then some patent recognition then artificial neural network and some there are some ai gaming is there right so these all are the artificial intelligence softwares next now the next thing is software process what exactly software process software process means it is a some set of activities and their outcome is to produce a good software product so basically this software process have divided into the four part software specification software development software validation and software evolution this all process are handled by software engineer or developer the first thing is software specification it means that you need to develop a software as per the customer requirements or as per the user need so you develop a software first you need to prepare a plan first you need to maintain which type of functionalities have included into your software which type of features is there which type of programming language or database you should use in the particular software so all this analysis are included into the software specification the second thing is software development here you need to develop a software as per the customer requirement okay means there is a actual development you should use or develop a software by using particular programming language next one is software validation means after development you need to validate the software means you need to test the software apply some software testings uh, rules and to test the software whether the particular software will develop as per the customer requirements or not and if there are any errors you need to solve those errors that will be done by the tester clear and last one is a software evolution means suppose client requirement have changed so your software must evolve to meet changing client needs okay there is a flexibility or scalability in your applications clear so software specification development validation and evolution these are the main software process next now the next one is software engineering stlc models stlc means software development life cycle models so there are different models have included in software engineering this all models have used by the developer to develop a particular product or softwares the first one is waterfall model then rad model spiral model v model incremental model agile model iterative model and big bang model so we discuss all these models in detail in our next sessions there are some models have included in your syllabus also so we will discuss in detail in next sessions so this is all about introduction about software engineering thank you keep learning